Now, I understand that I'm on trial, right? But what I want to ask someone who says that they're helping me, right? That if you're helping me, but I'm on trial, but you won't let me go to court, right? Then how are you taking up counsel with me? So what are you helping me with if you don't know what I need help with? So now, everybody done counseled me, right? So now I'm saying when I read the Bible, right? And everybody told me how they feel about my situation. And I'm talking about everybody I know. Now, not everybody in the world, that's impossible. But I'm saying everybody in my world. See, that's why I'm asking, right? If the people in my world believe in their mind that they're helping me, right? Then why are they getting mad with me when I ask them what help are they giving me, right? When I tell them, say, well, hey, man, I had 21 condo hotels. I had five on Daytona Beach. I had 11 on International Drive. I had like five or six over in Cocoa Beach. So if I'm telling them about where I had all of my um, properties strategically located, right? And then I'm telling them about the five more lots, right? That I, that I um, acquired after they saw this great calamity in my life. I'm coming back to them with five more lots. But now they keep telling me, say, well, Tommy, you can't go to court, but man, they're going to put you away, man. So now, if you dealing with the ignorance of your world, like I am, right? So if my world is ignorant, then how can I save my world from its ignorance? See, that's why I tell people, if you're not human, then what race is you talking about? Are you talking about your spiritual race, not your human race? See, because if you are um, talking about ethnicity, right, then is that color or is that culture, right? Because you can have a Muslim that's black and you can have a Muslim that's Puerto Rican and you can have a Muslim that's white. But now if the black Muslim deny the white Muslim and the Puerto Rican Muslim or the Mexican Muslim or the Indian Muslim, then is God racist? See, so is a denomination a color or is it an ideology? Right? Because the color of your skin, you had nothing to do with. The uh, sex that you have, you had nothing to do with. You a male child because you was born a male child. What did you have to do with that? So if you didn't have nothing to do with your gender, how do you have something to do with your race? Now you have something to do with your denomination because you can choose to be of what denomination, right? You can choose to be of a party, right? You can choose to be a Democrat. You can choose to be a Republican. You can choose to be an independent. But what I'm saying to a race of people who was denied the right to read and write, why do you identify as a party when you're when you're not um, quantified as a race? See what I'm saying? You are you're you're stored in a color, right? But we are all different shades. So see what I'm saying? So what are we? Either we colored. Or we transparent, right? That means you can see through us. But even if you white, you still can't see through you. So are you not a human being with a body, right? So now, if we all have the same body parts, right? Then are we not human? We're not beast, right? So if God made everything after its kind, right, then a white goat and a brown and white goat is still a goat, right? A black sheep and a white sheep 
or a black and white sheep is still a sheep. But why when it comes to the human race, it's not human. So is it not the person who decides that another person who have two arms, two legs, a body, eyes, look just like you, but just different in color, shape and size. Now you saying that that's not a human being because they black or because they white or because they Asian. Isn't that ethnicity that has nothing to do with if they are human being or not. So if Jesus, God, or whomever you want to give credit for creating a human being, created a human being in several different shades and colors, right? Then why would you then say that that human being is not a human being?